We're just getting ready to set off on the Tekek motorbike loop. Like big karst mountains, all kinds of things like that. There's like a, a man-made, a huge man-made lake. And caves. Yeah. So we're going for three days. Yeah, and Conglaw Cave, which is the, the highlight, isn't it? So Should be good. Three nights, four days. up the bike and we're walking to the first cave which is Buddha Cave. It was found in 2004 by I think the guy who runs our guest house. What's that? It's, he's got the same name, is it Mr Nong? Yeah, yeah. Um, and he was looking for bats and come across this cave and it had 229 Buddha statues inside. Inside. No, no recording, but a very tiny entrance. Get yourself inside. A lovely small entrance. Is. is apparently the Big Daddy Cave. It's the big one isn't it where all the local tourists come to. I think, is it called Tham, Tham Nang Ayam? We'll have a look, it's written on the front of the cave. Oh, we'll look, but... I will have a look. This is one intense you're not game. Off where you're cheating. Do you say I'm cheating because I'm winning? No, you're cheating because you're just throwing the balls as hard as you can at, at molly balls. That's how you play. You, if you're closest, then you knock off the other person. Your go, go on. Okay. One. Yes. It's best of three. Come on then. I hate to share you up three times, but <laughs> I'll do it if I have to. Dragon Cave. Feel all the cool air.
by far the best cave we've seen so far. Noodle soup. It looks like it's got either fish balls or pork balls yeah, in it. Yeah, we've got a spoon. I can go into it. The uh, cool pool. It says over there. Yeah. The natural pond. Yeah, you can swim in. Like a bit of a lagoon type place, but there's yeah. a lot of people here. It's very busy. Fish or pork? Not fish. Not pork. Unidentified. Chicken rice porridge. For breakfast, yeah. I wanted to try it for ages. It's called congee in other places, I think. But, you know, rice porridge. And... It doesn't taste like porridge. But it tastes really good. <laughs> it tastes like chicken and rice. Hmm. It's got garlic in it and herbs and stuff like that. It's really good. Off to... Kong Law Cave. Cave. On our way to the cave, it's our boatman in front. Chrissy's snazzy life jacket. So we've just been dropped off by the boat after about five minutes and I think you've got a bit of a walk haven't we to start with Rob? How big is this place? It's enormous, so this whole trip takes two and a half hours, that's how big it's There and back, yeah, it's insane. had to get out. I think, it, is it because the river's too loud, do you think? I have no idea. Whoa. One of the best curries I've had in Asia. Definitely. Even when we've had Indian curries, they've not been as good as these, have they? No. And it was staying at Chanta House, 
um, guest house, yeah, house, by yeah. Conglaw Cave. Yeah, but even job. if people don't stay here, just come here to eat. Because <laughs> yeah. the food, I'm going to ask for this for my, for my breakfast. It is that good. I can't have no curry for breakfast. I'm having curry for breakfast. It is that good. I love this curry. <laughs> I might even ask her for the recipe. Keck after the loop. Finished. Longlaw being the highlight. The back is that when we ran out of petrol. Chris, not we. Chris ran out of petrol. Were you on the bike as well, or was? I think it's always the driver. Bike? The driver. <laughs> the loop's been really good, hasn't it? Was, it? Yeah. What yeah. do you prefer, Bolivin loop or to Keck loop? I'd say to Keck. The only reason to Keck is it's got something like Kong Conglaw Cave was incredible. We were both Absolutely saying, weren't we, that we incredible. think we think Conglaw Cave is probably not just like a highlight of the country, but one of our highlights of Asia. Yeah, definitely. And it's a shame because it was so dark, the camera won't pick it up. No, it won't pick anything up, so if anyone's thinking again, you'll just have to go. But it, is, it was incredible, wasn't it? Just like how vast it is. Just yeah, phenomenal. How big. You kind of look up with your head torch on and it torch, which isn't great can't even touch the ceiling it was just unbelievable amazing huge so we're finish, finishing off the day into Keck yeah a few beers over the river yeah and that is Thailand a sausage that's been refried refried sausage healthy I could have eaten off a stick, but I wanted it refried. So. <laughs> so, steamed buns couldn't figure out if it's sweet, savoury, meat. I got it. Oh, she's going for it. She's being tough. Is it tied? Meat? Was it? Tasty. I love, I love those. these buns anyway. 2000 a bun? That's a bargain, that is. So this is uh, this night market looks really good, doesn't it? There's lads going on. I don't know, I thought you'd I thought you'd feel like that. I'm going chocolate, chocolate, Oreos. White chocolate, chocolate chips. I like your chocolate theme. <laughs> It's arrived. I've not seen Robin this excited since she went to the Taj Mahal. <laughs> You've got to try a bit of waffle. I don't know. Just, Do just bite, just you? bite into it. Yeah, don't lose that bit of Oreo though. My, yeah. How's it? Good. Can I have some? No. Robin, can I have some? Your own. <laughs> 